Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is going to give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video, and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. Hi, I'm Andrew Connell, and welcome to my chapter on automated testing of SharePoint framework solutions. Implementing automated testing within your custom solutions, be they SharePoint framework projects or any other custom code project, is widely considered to be a good practice. Projects that include automated tests are more robust and they're of higher quality because the same tests can be easily run repeatedly to check for errors. Many developers skip this step of adding tests because it's hard and it's confusing. But in this chapter, you're gonna learn the practices of not only why you should test, but the different types of tests, what you should test, and how to implement automated testing in your SharePoint framework projects. So what are we going to cover in this chapter? We'll start by looking at the automated software testing concept, the what, the whys, and the hows. Then we're going to look at the tools of the JavaScript testing trade. As you're going to see, there's a lot of different tools. So we'll look at all these different options that we have. We'll then look at how to test SharePoint framework projects, and then work with a tool called Jest to test our SharePoint framework projects. We'll see how to implement it, then we'll learn a little tips and tricks and some debugging, and then we'll look at how to report on Jest tests using a concept called code coverage. And we'll have even more tests as this chapter evolves. Now, the challenge with this topic is that it has fingers in so many different places throughout my course. And what do I mean by that? Well, the topic of testing has some core aspects that you need to understand, such as the types of tests, the tools involved, how to configure a project, and how to write the first few tests and run them. But for many developers, this may be everything that you're looking for. But for others, you may want to go deeper and learn about specific things like testing React projects or faking or mocking and spying. And let me just mention a quick little note here about this chapter. I consider this chapter to be an eternal work in progress. Just like the rest of the course is evergreen, this chapter will be as well. Initially, this chapter is going to cover the core aspects of getting up to speed on testing JavaScript-based projects, all the stuff that you just saw on the last slide. But here's how I plan to move forward with this topic and this chapter. There will be a lesson, or multiple lessons, related to testing React projects. But those lessons aren't going to be in this chapter. They're going to get added to the React chapter to keep the React lessons all together. And I expect to do the same thing with the Angular chapter and the Vue.js chapters as well. I'm also planning lessons on dealing with the complexities of dealing with dependencies, such as using mocks, fakes, and spies. Those lessons, they're probably going to show up in this chapter. Now, do you have topics that you're looking for that I haven't mentioned so far that are covered in this chapter? Let me know. Leave a message in the comments below this video at the bottom of the screen. If you see someone else has left a comment for something that you'd like to see, make sure that you vote it up using the tools that are provided. Okay, so let's get started. 